So how should you spin if you want more fluff and loft into this um, silk and mohair fibre? Um, just like with any other fibre, if you switch to using some form of woolen draft, you'll start to trap more air into your yarn. The fibres go in in a more disorganised fashion and what that means is you will naturally end up with a yarn which has a bit more bounce, a bit more loft and the fibres will naturally poke out slightly more um, and give you a slightly fluffier effect. What form of woolen draft you use is completely up to you. In this case I'm actually keeping my back hand still and I'm just pulling forward with my front hand but my front hand is a good 30 centimetres away from my back hand and as you can see I've very definitely got twist into the drafting zone and I've just broken off a chunk of fibre and I'm spinning from the fold but it's gradually getting more and more disorganised and I'm gradually ending up spinning with something that's sort of more from a from a cloud rather than a true fold. If you prefer you can switch to doing a backwards draft which then means my hand disappears straight out of the video. Okay and once you've got the twist in you come back and you then go back with that hand. Okay the twist into the drafting zone and um, if I pull off a plyback sample you can already see it's got more halo than the worsted draft okay and we hold it there it could possibly do with a little bit more twist again that's one of the reasons why you do short samples before you go any further but it has got more of a fluff, more of a halo sticking out. What I'll do is I'll spin some bigger samples um, and take some proper photos of them because photos show it much more clearly um, and in much more detail than I can manage to capture on the video. And you can have a look and that way you'll be able to decide which you prefer if you decide to buy some of this and you want to spin it.